look at those handsome fellows. Oh, hey, welcome back to the Shelton Springs Open 2021 B tier in Washington State. We've got Kyle Crabtree at two down, Dion Arlen at five, that's me, Rostin at one down, and Kai Kim, three under par and on the box on hole 10. Co-host today, Josh Heideman. Josh, how you doing? I'm doing fabulous, how about you? Having a great time. Have to see what we do here under the wind. There's probably, what, a 20 mile an hour headwind on there right now, huh? Pretty solid. I'm going with my most stable Z Raptor, and I'm thinking just hit the line hard and break right. And Stay break in right. bounds. Break right. Oh. oh! Unreal. Just slides over the painted hazard line. Crabtree really going to the well on the Comet today, and for good reason. Yeah. Brosson caught early tree. He is going to be looking at some difficult, mm. oof, now even more difficult woods golf. Big bomb there from Kai Kim. May have pushed a little deep. He could be in the deep hazard. And Broston finds his way out to the fairway eventually. Kyle with what? Probably a, a machete maybe? I think that was his machete. And uh, you'll see here in a moment that he also pushed just out the back for oh, a hazard lie. And I throw from the hazard and able to find the green. Broston lost track of how many shots he's at, but he is hoping to get up and down and execute. So. Kai from the hazard. Oh, there's the lie. Unreal. Just blame the guy that painted the line. <laughs> Wouldn't happen to be you, would it, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and looking for an up and down, plus a hazard to make par. Ah, uh, great work. Ooh, I'll take it. Every time it goes in, I do a little happy dance inside. Rossin to clean up his double bogey, it looks like. Single bogey for Kai, and should be a, another bogey for Kyle. You got the lone par on that one. Very difficult hole in this wind, and then that hazard line really making it tough. As you see John Anderson, the uh, South Sound president, come over and give the group some love. This is the uh, signature hole 11 River Island. I opt for the early tree hit to stay safe. Totally intentional. Certainly the play. Looks like Kai's trying to lay up here. Yeah, maybe closer to how you're supposed to do it. Kyle's doing the same. I imagine Brosson is going for this. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I spoke too soon. Wow, gets shut down by the barrier. Only had to be an inch higher to have the perfect shot. So I'm looking to scramble, get up and down from off the fairway with the little Z drone. Trying to get onto the green. Yeah. Did not do it. It's a safe bid here, probably from Crabtree. Josh, I'm going to go on record and say that uh, the play for the hole is the layup. And if everybody in the pro field knew that, this hole might become a little boring. I would be tempted to experiment with some 
different hole configurations with you on this one for future. I reasons. attack the hole as a two or a four. I go for the island every time. How's so that work out for you? I get twos and fours. <laughs> and I get a bonus three every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, it seems like the when you go to lay up and the second shot goes OB, you're getting fives. And that's I think in the in the pro field, anybody who gets to the layup zone is, is executing the up and down. Absolutely. Hole played 3.42 for the day, so if the field is over par, the play is the layup. Take the three and take the half stroke and move on with your day, just like Kyle demonstrated. Hole 12, you got to bend right and then make your way back straight to the green. Kai nice. Heiser's out a little early, but yeah, he's up there. Kyle getting flexy with the Raptor. Powerful shot from Broston. Wow. He penetrated, he kept flying and went way out into the open. Raptor from you? Also a Raptor trying to copy Crabtree's line and I flex out a little too early. Any one of these holes can be the hole that uh, that gets you. And looks like this might be the one that gets me. Oh, did you come up short there? Yeah, I caught the log. Needed to clear the log to get the slide to the green. Broston puts it. Great bid from outside. Kyle for two. Also a good bid, and then here's to save About 45 R. feet. That's right. Yeah, you said it right when you let go. You knew you didn't hit it. Yep. Rossin right around circle's edge. There it is. Right in the heart of the basket. Is this Kai for birdie? Must be. And yes, it in. is. His putt stroke has been great today. He's a solid putter, just a very direct shot. It's the kind of style of putt that you see in modern disc golf. But when I started playing, would have spit 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Back on those Mach 2s and 3s, you mean? That's that's right. Yeah, there's no chance in, in heck <laughs> that you'd ever see that putting stroke in pro competition circa 2007. Oh, uh, hole 13. Yeah. Hole's only 3.30, but you've got two different hallways that you can oh, take Oh, looks like in. Kyle's going for the signature crab tree line. Yeah. <laughs> he says, I've had enough with your fairway. I'll make my own. <laughs> uh, I actually throw the same shot. It works out pretty well. We need to grow that bush by about six more feet by next yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> Brosson looks like he's lining up with a nice forehand here. I turned it over just a bit too much. Throwing a force or something. That is a surge. Just trying oh, to get the little flip up. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Nice shot. Good flight. Yeah. That's a tricky distance for Brost, and then he scoots out to about 22, which, if you're not going to make it, you might as well just lay up in that situation, right? Save yourself the trouble. Yeah. Uh, he's a... He, I have high hopes for Broston. I think he'll he'll clean up all these mistakes he's having, and we're gonna see him on the top of a lot of lead cards in the soon to be future. I agree, Broston. If you're watching this coverage, we're rooting for you, buddy. And if you if you need a lesson, take one from me now before you're ten times better than me next year. <laughs> Keyword: next year. Next year. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, he's, he's doing business. Yeah, his putting stroke's working great. Rostin's got a great teacher of his dad, though. Chris Waugh is one heck of a player himself. Yeah, and one of the better golfers, right? I always kind of hung my hat on being a good thrower. and. Yeah, he's and... all-around good player, yeah. Exactly. One of the better putter, putters around. He's got a good forehand. Silky smooth. smooth. Yep. Yep. Rostin still having trouble on the short ones today. That did not make him happy. And he will have no. to settle for the bogey. Is this for your birdie here? This will be for par. I ended up going a little long and then oh. had a jumper coming back. So just a par for me. And I make the spoiler alert for round two, although I'm not on coverage. I uh, make the correction. The surge was too straight of a disc for this hole. Round one. Kyle with a tap in two. <laughs> Hole 14. Yeah, this has got to be one of the higher rated scored holes on the... What do we got for an average on this one, Dion? Yeah, 4.74. We recently uh, shifted the par to four. And uh, this event sort of convinced us that maybe it really is a par five after playing yeah. in the high fours. Yeah. Wow, what a great drive by Kyle there. Certainly attackable. You only got to get into two landing zones to have a bid for an eagle. Oh. Well, I'm really excited, yeah, for what Broston's about to do. Anytime you get to see the young guy open up, it's great. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh boy. You got all that one. Absolute smash. About 450 feet, if not more. Yeah, easily. Well, you got some work to do here, don't you? Yep, just try to find my way back to the fairway, and uh, well, it looks like you kicked to the right side there. I'm happy to be on that side. I think that's where I want to be. Oh, oh. yeah. There's a yeah. nice hyzer line right here, all the way to the basket. Absolutely, Kyle's in great He's spot. He's about ready to attack it. it right now. Oh, hit the only branch. Should yep. maybe tell the warden to cut that one down, huh? <laughs> I think he should leave it. There's that line I was talking about. Nice shot, Dion. Thank you. Take Kyle's drive and my uh, fairway shot, and we're we're doing something special. Kai snuck back there. He actually ends up penetrating Red pretty well. circles edge, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. Rossin's got a tricky shot. Oh, keep holding. Oh, Heiser oh. back out. So far up there, and still not a promise of, of having a good line or a good angle. This is about 150 feet. That's a great shot for easy putt for Kyle. And uh, looks like we catch the tail end of my putt. I was blocked by the tree and saved the par, and pretty oh, happy about that. it. Yeah, I would be too from that drive that you had. And Roston, this is for par. Looks like we missed Kai's par putt and... Oh, there we go. Good job. Catch Broston, finds the bucket. I imagine the, the putting gods are not on Broston's side of his head today. It's true. This will be Kyle for par. There you go.
four, a great score on that hole. Now we're moving into the final stretch. All gettable holes. Hole 15, averaging 3.26. Had a decent amount of birdies for the day. Let's see how lead or feature card fares. Ooh. 0 for 1. The play here is like a flex forehand. It's like with it. Slide. Slide. And now we've got a few scramble shots from short right. Most of the group found the rough off the tee. Kai more so than most. Yeah, it's pretty rough back there. In the winter time, it's full of water. Great shot from Kai. Ten years ago, all those trees that are laying down on the ground used to be in play. Wow. Yeah. Get it. Good bid for par for Kai. He will have to get up and down, or I should say he should have a comebacker for bogey. Says Kyle for par. Oh, rare nice. air miss there. I've seen three of those in my life from Kyle. That scares me every time. Oh, <laughs> Brosson cannot catch a break on the green today. Oh, man. Here you are from one knee. This is a tricky putt, too. You got to keep it low and hard here, huh? Yep. Wow, somehow managed to get it over the basket, which I did not think was possible. Oh, there we go. His putt has been solid today, cleaning up his bogey, but... Kyle for another bogey, of course, right? Yeah, yeah the whole card is staring at bogey, which is... Uh... Rather depressing, actually. We had a good laugh about it on hole 16's tee pad and said, let's never do that again. And uh, we moved on. Bogey frame. Wow. Yeah. yeah other groups still suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, natural hyzer shot for Kai. Uh, looks like he kind of doesn't like the way that turned out. Looks like Kyle's got his machete. One of the most overstable discs in the state of Washington. And he laughs most of the time when he throws it. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he ain't going to laugh on that one, is he? No, he is not. This is for second shot for Kyle. From downtown, needs to get the up and down with the Comet. I lost it. Yeah. He overturned and ended up short right, so now he's got this long putt for par. I'm familiar with that spot. That's going to be back-to-back -back bogeys for Kyle, which it was not his day. One of the top oh. Washington players and just was not feeling it today. Wow, there's the first bad putt stroke out of Kai. There we go, Broston. Broston praising the basket gods for their mercy on that putt, keeping yeah. it in the chains for the first time today. Oh. Kai goes from birdie to bogey. Kyle joins him. Hole 17. 
the the hole likes to make you think you really got a hyzer hard left, but the straighter you throw it, the better it seems to turn out, in my opinion. I agree with that. Throwing a Z tracker, hoping to do just that. Nice straight flight. <laughs> See the big fur? That's the one you got to aim at, not that gap. But that seems like it might work out for you okay. Joke's on you. Yeah, I'm putting. There's the line I'm talking about right there. Great shot from Kai. <laughs> and this is the kind of hole you expect Kyle to work his magic on. Yep, he's lining up his hyzer flip line. Or his hyzer line, anyway. That's a perfect good. shot. So we actually all ended up in decent spots with some long looks. Mm. Good bid from Broston. Just outside circle, almost edge of circle for me here. Oh, boy. Bummer. There you go, Kyle gets the birdie, and I'm pretty sure that's Kai ultra parked. Ultra parked it is for two. Looks like you gotta get around that ocean spray there. He should be okay. Oh. Man, Prosta, just not his day on the green. And I clean up, and we've got uh, Broston for bogey. And you have to imagine six or seven of those strokes on the day for Broston come from cleanup putts or spit outs. So a little closer on the approach, a little closer on the circle two bids, and he's under par for the round. Good sportsmanship here. Good to see. So. Let's do a little score check in on the old guys versus young guys. Kyle and I one down, and the young guys one over. Oh, um, but a boy. more competitive battle than you would expect. Here's another hole that we changed the par on recently from a five to a four. I think appropriately so as, as well. A very tough hole, but we did allow the, uh, but we took away the OB um, due to some tree foliage. Uh, cleaned up that area, decided not to keep the OB and allow people to split the corner there. So I think it's the proper move. Yeah, you shouldn't be punished to be throwing a 400 foot shot if it's, you know, off to the left like it used to be out of bounds. So what do you got here in your hand? ESP Force. Gonna try to launch it. Mm. Roston with most likely a destroyer. Gonna try to beat that tree that I hit. If he gets a little turn on it, then he can go a long way. It's the flip up, but not the turn. And if he made the corner, he's okay. If he ducked in early, it's gonna be trouble. Kai's off on the early right side. He's got a long way to go before he gets out to the gap. Looks like it's gonna make the grass. I think he's happy with that. Kyle going a little more aggressive, trying to cut the corner back door. And he hung up high and fell to the left, so he did not get through on that shot. ESP Meteor. <laughs> you are right here with a meteor? Yeah, a little circus shot. <laughs> hey, it, it worked out. That was, yeah, a nasty gap that I decided to go for. Maybe not necessary, but whatever. Wow, Broston did make the corner and. Uh, See, previously this light. shot would be out of bounds, which. 
I'm happy to to take that away because what why should you be punished for a big shot like that? I agree. Kyle's got some some work to do here. Looks like he's lining up a tomahawk. Yeah, this is for birdie from deep. Ah, uh, almost. Sort of a half bit. You always got to be a little cautious on the. Uh, tall this is baskets. a tricky putt right here. I've been here a few times. Ooh, mm. good bit. Kyle having a having a rough final hole, but if he puts this in, I think he saves a five, which would be an okay score for the hole, averaging 4.5 for the day. No, it does not. Rossin for three? Yep. Yeah, wow. And he can hold his head high on a terrible day, finishing with a great birdie. Gets to leave, hit the McDonald's happy meal train on the way out. <laughs> happy meals. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's yeah. still a minor. Got to give him that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Kai taps in for his bogey. Kyle does as well. And you get a par. Thanks for watching, everybody. Round one coverage. We'll have round two coming for you soon at the Shelton Springs Open. Big shout out to Fairway Media for covering the event. Josh as TD. And for Dion Arlen in the booth, we'll see you in round two. Talk to you later, guys. With that last part there. Yep. <laughs>